Okay. I'm not even going to have an intro or anything for this one. Because at the point I have it right now, everything's already falling apart. So everything's going to be, I guess, completely legit. Because there's probably not going to be any editing. It's even too hard for me to pause the video. So if you haven't guessed it, this is technically a gaming video. I'm just going to be trying to pass the perfect run. Which is, um, that would be the last level on, um, Super Mario Galaxy 2. And, I don't know, I just felt the need to make this. So if anybody watches it, that'd be appreciated. Plus, everybody knows I haven't uploaded on my channel for a while. And there it went. Don't know what the problem is. My cursor does not like the right side of my screen at all. Okay. Yet again, see all the long pauses? Okay, now it's not even letting me play. Just checking the camera, sorry. I wish I had a, an editing app I could use. See this? Ugh. Yeah, who knew it'd be this bad? Okay. Just wanted to justify. Everybody already knows if you're really good at something or you have a skill, a hobby, talent. Literally doesn't matter what it is. Anytime you're showing someone it, you always fail. Always. In some way, shape, or form. No matter how good you are at it. I guess except... Unless you've been doing it for a while. Just in front of people. It's always, oh look, I beat this level here. I can beat it again. You show someone, you, you fail miserably. That's just... That's, that's the way it is. Hopefully you guys can relate. So yeah, just... I feel like this is more genuine. It's nothing highly edited or comedic. Is comedic a word? Help me out with that. I don't know. I usually use comedic rather than humorous. But there is a difference between comedy and humor. I believe that um, humor is just anything that's funny at all. And then comedic is something that's been written and put together. Which I guess could count as my videos. Although it was a little unintelligent. And I was making it funny. You know, that's the thing about humor. It's just... It's a rule where as long as it's funny. It doesn't matter if it's an intelligent kind of funny. Just as long as it is. That's a little bit how memes work. They're just, they're just funny because they're dumb. The goal is to make it to that star without making another cloud. So I have an extra one for the next level. Speaking of which, here it is. This is where I always die. I don't really have a, some crazy tactic or anything. It it really doesn't require that. Just 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 focus. That's all. And practice. See, I only want to talk because if I'm not talking, then you can probably hear me breathing. There it was. There's my death. I also have candy in here with me. I would attempt to eat it. But I don't know. I just... I guess I could take a while to pause the video, eat the candy, and play it. But... I don't... I don't really care at this point. That was way too close. So close to the fact... To the point where I died. See, I don't want this to be absurdly long. I'm not, this isn't a, oh, I'm going to beat it. This is just, anytime I'll find myself walking home or playing a video game or doing something all by myself, 
and then I'll talk like this, like I'm making a video, and I can actually do it and upload it on YouTube. And I don't, and I, I don't want to go through an editing process of putting it into another device or some kind of computer. My plan is just use something like a laptop, anything that's just editing software. And if you've watched my other videos, you just know that I use iFunny. iFunny. I don't even know. See, without cutting, you hear all the mistakes. It's basically a bloopers, but in the movie. Which I'd consider to be low quality. Again, I was rambling. Not iFunny, iMovie. They both start with I. I have a reason to mistake them. But it's it's really not that bad because the main thing you need is that you can cut out clips just in general. Like all the bad stuff you want to cut it out, which is legit not what I'm doing for this video. But it's fine. This is just me talking, you watching me play this. Although I kind of guarantee that Chase will watch this. Which is a close friend of mine. I don't care about real and not real names. No one's going to watch this anyways. But if Chase is watching this, this is going to inspire him to play this game, most likely. I don't know. He it seems like he already gave up. I'm just going to not tell him I uploaded this. Maybe let him find it out for... Find it out legitimately, I guess. See if he was nice enough to turn on notifications for my channel. Which I... Pretty sure he subscribed to me. I'm gonna be quiet for a minute. Never mind, I'm not because I died. I usually shut up when I'm trying to focus, trying to do something hard. I just don't think of this as a gaming video. I think of this as almost like one of those storytelling videos. You know, they just play some game in the background. Like, most of the time, it's like modded Call of Duty or something. Like, uh, this one YouTuber I know named Luna. Maybe you've heard of him. Yes, it's a dude. His name is Luna. Don't get it mixed up with anything else. He just says these crazy stories. Except he's a lot more enthusiastic than I am right now. And, yeah, he just plays Call of Duty in the background. It's just... The game is stimulation. It's just something to watch in the background. Well, the main thing... You're looking at is his voice but essentially it's kind of better because you can just listen to it that's the thing youtube videos you can watch them for the you know the video maybe it was edited really well or it's just beautiful cinematics or something although videos with just sound they're just more accessible you can listen to them secretly or just do something else Yeah, I like to watch YouTube videos like that I don't have to pay super close attention to while I'm doing something. Like, if I'm making something or cooking something, I'll just watch something. Like, you know, it doesn't... I don't like to watch videos... Ah, oh, crap. Dang it. I don't like to watch videos that just require all of your focus. Just, if you walk away with your headphones on while you're watching it, you can still listen to it just fine you can still get the whole video you don't have to look at the screen I like stuff like that well for for the right use see how my cursor is working out I think it's because I'm too close to the TV I'm not sure I am mumbling a little bit I I talk better to people it's a lot harder to talk to yourself you know like if you're just by yourself you're not really putting on a show even though you are it's just it's harder to remind yourself you don't have eyes to look into or a person to respond to your questions and then people are saying oh wait that's what a live stream is for they can whatever I don't like live streams to be honest they're hard to catch because I don't really have enough time like I have time but I don't spend it sitting around and waiting for notifications notifications to pop up there we'll see just simple speaking errors I they just it's this whole genre this whole world of 
being super loyal to YouTubers. I don't know. I, I really would have wanted to catch Markiplier's playthrough of Ultimate Custom Night, which is how old now? Six months? Five months? I'm not sure. He just seems old to me. I miss out on everything. Because here's the thing. I'm not even done watching it. Oh, a meadow with three clouds. Subconsciously. Okay. Which isn't exponentially better, but it's... It's it's something. It's something to appreciate. That's what it's all about, right? Just appreciating things that... You don't usually appreciate. My classic examples are eyebrows and elbows. I just got it from... A speaker. Some, you know, someone that's supposed to make you think like that. I didn't think about that before. Oh, he hit my cloud. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I kind of feel like this helped. Okay, oh. I'm like super nervous right now. What was I saying? Okay, you want to know why? You gotta like eyebrows and elbows. Oh my gosh, that is so close. It's because... I, I know it seems random, but... Uh, really? Can I just not? It's scary, I don't want to die. Ugh, okay. I'm just... I really gotta focus. I don't want to talk about eyebrows and elbows right now. But... Because I'm nice... I don't know if I can make it. I, I'm a little scared. I, my cursor is not working right now. I think I have to point it backwards. See, if you're high enough, it's still three-dimensional. That's it's, it's the tactic. I just learned from a YouTube video. Speaking of which, like I said earlier, I just, I, I'm not that loyal to things like YouTube videos. Oh, this is my death. There it was. What did I say? Better than I got before, though. Because when you're talking on, like, the, the video, it's just... You can let go. And, and, and I, that, that too. You can... <laughs> I don't know. Something about not focusing on the game just makes you do it better. I, I'm, I don't know what it is. And it, I'm, I guarantee it doesn't apply to everything. But it's just... It's not just a game. It's not just you and your thoughts. You get to say something. And I'm sure it's not like that for everybody, but... You know. That, there's the pause. That, that's, that's, that pause, that's, that's me thinking of the next conversation or whatever. Usually I have something in the game I can mention. Like me dying. It's pretty interesting. Now, if I wanted, I could quote just about a thousand vines, but nah. I'm not trying to be funny, like I said. But I'm not trying to be necessarily serious, I'm not. Maybe pop a couple jokes, I don't know, I'm not sure. It's already super long, and I've just been rambling, but that's what it is. I'm making a video because I want to, not because I'm making this huge show like I usually do. Because in this case, I'm going to do quantity over quality so just more videos I guess maybe I'll just upload random junk but here's the thing at least I'm uploading it's not it's not like it's quantity or quality it's just nothing or something at this point so yeah this ah oh, dang it I never die here like if you think about that quantity versus quality I don't know if I can give any examples, but it basically applies to everything. There, there it went. My stupid cursor. Um, maybe you can think of some things. Uh, YouTube video is definitely a big one. Oh my gosh. I, I, my, it's my cursor. It's not me. I know what I'm doing. Okay. 
um, I guess songs can kind of be like that too. But I'm not talking about media because media is really malleable. Malleable media. I feel like that could be a, I don't know, a YouTube channel or something. Um, I'm trying to think of something. I mean, if you think about it, let's say a company, maybe they sell, hmm, what's interesting? I don't know, socks, paper clips. I'll go with, um, I don't know. I'm going to go with socks. Okay. So there are different levels of socks, even though they all do the same exact freaking thing. Go over your feet, make them warm, whatever. A company, or a person, really, I, I like I said, that's why I said basically anything. They could just sell a bunch of um, normal socks, or low quality socks. They could sell a normal amount of normal socks, make a normal amount of money. They could sell a high number of low quality socks, make that same amount of money. Or... Um, a low number of high quality socks and make the same amount of money see it's basically like hey what do you want to do you know I mean it doesn't always work like that like why do you think co which companies that are they're super rich <sighs> which companies let's see I don't know Apple in Apple's case they got both things on their hand they're selling a bunch of stuff but they all cost so much. It's just... That doesn't work it for me. Ooh. This is really sketchy. Hold on. Okay, here's my plan. Watch this. So, like I said, you don't need to do a long jump. You can go the same distance. Just... I would agree. It's basically just more an efficient way to do it. Okay. There it was. There it freaking was. Okay, I believe this video is getting too long, especially without cuts. Like, I wish I could accomplish something. But, here's the thing. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's see if this math works up. 80 Starbucks. I just spent, like, 5. And I have 16 Starbucks. That's dying 16 times, because you get 1 Starb in the whole level. Yeah, that really sucks. If you watch this whole thing, I actually respect, you know. I'd like that. That'd be nice. Oh my goodness. I figured the thing I want to do for YouTube videos is not put on a show or do freaking vlogs. I remember when I did those. It was, I, I just, I used to like vlogs and the idea of it. And it, it, like I said, it, it just varies a lot between people and things. Except I didn't say that. I didn't say that prior to this. But I don't like it anymore because I kind of realized how lazy it is. It is this. It's, it's one of the single laziest ways to make YouTube videos and make a lot of money. You record your life, and people are just, just so infatuated by it. Depending on your life, like I, I don't. I haven't watched any other vloggers besides. Let's see. Um. Ugh, sorry. Uh, I do this Twitch thing. Not Twitch. I don't do Twitch. Like I said, I don't like live streams. I have a friend that does, though, which is that same Chase friend. I guess um, his name's Tay Regan. I'm not going to freaking tell you how to spell it. Tay Regan. There you go. He's on Twitch. Whatever. I got a plug for him. So... Uh, crap. I legit forgot what I was saying. What I was saying. I want to say grammar whenever I correct myself, but it, 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 it's not grammar. It's just literally me pronouncing the word. I'm so sorry. I lost a thought. I, I'm... If you're dying to remember, or just not remember, know what I was going to say, I'm actually sorry because I legitimately forgot it. Yeah, I can't remember.
That's what I do, huh? I should have a counter for every time I make a topic and then don't finish pursuing it. I still haven't explained to you why I like eyebrows and elbows. Screw it, I'm gonna do that now. Aw, oh, dang it, I didn't want to use that. But that's just what happens. That's how it works. No one said it was gonna be easy. That's, oh, dang it. Oh, that really sucks. Okay, I'll end it, but I'm just gonna explain why eyebrows and elbows are so great. Okay. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, first up, elbows. Imagine, just, just imagine a world where everybody not necessarily didn't have that section of their arm. I'm not talking in that way. More the elbow joint. Just imagine having straight arms all day. You couldn't do anything. Except there's that monster drinking challenge. Is that a challenge or is just something Rhett and Link did? I can't remember. No, I think a bunch of people did it. I don't know. Just, they had to hold their arms out for a while. Rentley did it for a while. And it, 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 it's interesting, you know. Just just some uh, medium-sized joints make that big of a difference. But then again, the idea of a joint is pretty amazing. You know what? How many times you see a joint... I'm talking anything that spins, moves, just that can revolve on an axis of some kind. L literally, I guarantee, unless you're like in the middle of the desert, if there's man made stuff around you, there's probably something with some kind of hinge, joint, spinning thing. And just, yeah, that on your arms. It's basically the argument of. Nope, there it was. It's so basically the argument of what would you like to have your arms straight all the time. Number two, eyebrows. This is so weird, so dumb, so specific and vague. Not necessarily vague. What's the word I'm looking for? Obscure, yeah. It's like my favorite word. Not really. Um, I just use it a lot. Because everything in my life is obscure. Like every... Mm, I don't know how to explain it. It's like unique. This is far too long. Okay, I'm going to finish this up. Eyebrows are great because you don't really realize what they do. Now, everybody knows, oh yeah, they help you express your feelings, but why are they even there? How about you write in the comments, actually, no, that's dumb. How about just think about it? Why are eyebrows there? And then I'll tell you why. They're all stylish, right? It, I mean, it could be helpful to know what... I'm talking about purely, like, instinctive, primal things. Not really things that we would need for today. Like, if it was just humans living without technology of any kind, why would, why they would need it in a primitive society? Emotion would be kind of hard to tell with our eyebrows, but you can still generally get it with... The movement of the area above your eyes. So it makes them more seeable. They are fashionable. So that's nice. And there it was. I feel like I should stun them before, but eh. By the way, I'm talking about these guys. If you shoot a star bit, you can stun them. Anyways. If you think about it, where do you sweat the most? Like, when it's hot. Uh... No, let me rephrase that. Honestly, I have no idea how to phrase it. You sweat a lot from your forehead, right? Okay. Well, that sweat comes down because of gravity, right? Okay. Stay with me. And believe me. No, actually, I need some other kind of statement to open this. Um, whatever, I don't have one. Sweat drips from your forehead straight into your eyes. Your eyebrows stop it. There you go. Your eyebrows stop the sweat from going to your eyeballs. It literally took me like a full two to three minutes to say that. I don't have a clock next to me. That's just my assumption. But, yeah, eyebrows and elbows. I don't know. Just be thankful. It's the season of being thankful. But, to be honest, it's legit too hard when you're super sad or depressed. You know, you can't see the small things because 
you broke up with your girlfriend, your dog died, your best friend moved, you know, stuff like that. Ah, um... Yeah, just try not to be a douchebag. I missed that cloud. I'll be fine, though. You know, just... How to make this not sound like a cliche cat poster or whatever. Saying something's a cliche, I think, is a cliche of its own. But I'm not going to get into some crazy, get this, obscure cliche argument, so... I don't know, just be nice, man. It's it's not worth it to be mean. And you know how everyone's like, oh, dude, life is short. Yeah, compared to the rest of the universe, but technically, it's the longest thing you'll experience. See, I'm giving life lessons right now. I think I can make this. Who thinks I can make this? Do you? You? I just wanted like three or four viewers. Like it takes me forever for my videos to get views. Hopefully uh, I went over some decent, mediocre philosophies. So yeah, don't be a douchebag. Be thankful, literally. Here's the thing. Things to appreciate if you're in a third world country and your life is already nasty. Most of the time, you're going to have